Utilize the power of positive failure. Failure is the opportunity to begin again more intelligently. Because you can decide whether you're going to grow bitter from failure or better from failure. I love the illustration in the Bible of Peter and Judas, both of, of which failed tremendously. Peter and Judas. Judas is the one that betrayed Jesus. Betrayed him into the hands of the Roman authorities, which eventually led to his crucifixion. <laughs> Peter also failed during that time. Just a few hours earlier, Peter said, Lord, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will never deny you. Even if I have to die, I will not deny you. But yet after Jesus was arrested, Peter denied even knowing Jesus three different times. And then he heard the rooster crow, which is exactly what Jesus told him would happen. <laughs> before the rooster crows, before the morning comes, you will deny knowing me three times. They both failed Jesus. They both wept bitterly. The difference is, <laughs> is that Judas grew bitter because of his failure. Peter grew better because of his failure. And as a result, Judas ended up committing suicide because of the guilt and the shame that he felt because of his failure. Peter, although also felt the guilt, but guilt can either lead us into shame or it can lead us into repentance. And for Peter, it led him to repentance. He learned from his failure. And less than two months later, Peter preaches a message that leads 3,000 people to decide to follow Jesus. He becomes a pillar in the early church. He ends up writing a few books in the New Testament. And tradition tells us, we do not find this in the Bible, but tradition tells us that when Peter's life was on the line again, they were about to crucify him. And he requested to be crucified upside down because he did not deserve to die the same way his Lord and Savior died. You see the difference between the Peter that denied knowing Jesus and the Peter that did not try to get out of the death, did not try to deny knowing Jesus, did not try to lie in order to get out of being crucified, but instead requested to be crucified crucified upside down. Judas grew bitter because of his failure. Peter grew better because of his failure. The one thing that all successful people have more in common than anything else is failure. They have all failed many more times than they succeeded. <laughs> but two things they did with their failure... First of all, they never gave up. They kept moving forward. And second of all, they learned from their failure. Matter of fact, most successful people will not even use the term failure. They simply refer to those experiences as learning experiences because they've learned. They've become more intelligent. Remember what I said earlier? Failure is the opportunity to begin again more intelligently. So if you fail, these are my three suggestions. First of all, change your attitude. Change your attitude about failure and look toward the success. I love the story of Babe Ruth. They were one time in a, in a pennant race to see who was going to go to the World Series. And it was down to the last game and it was the last inning and Babe Ruth was up. There were two men on base they were down by two runs. It was the bottom of the ninth, and Babe Ruth had struck out all game long. He had not even foul tipped the ball. He got up to bat. There's two outs. Pitch comes down. He swings. He misses. 
Second pitch comes down. He swings. I guess I should swing this way because he was left-handed. And he misses. By this time, many of the fans are already walking out of the stadium. Babe Ruth gets back into the box. Third pitch comes down. He swings. He connects. The ball goes over the fence. They end up winning that game and winning the pennant, going to the World Series, and eventually winning the World Series. An interviewer asked Babe Ruth after that game, Babe, what was going through your mind? You'd struck out all day, had not even fouled tipped the ball. You had two strikes on you, the game on the line, the pennant on the line, potential World Series on the line. What was going through your mind in that third pitch? And Babe Ruth said, the same thing that's always going through my mind when I'm up to bat. I was thinking about hitting a home run. Regardless of the failure, regardless how many times he had messed up, regardless of the fact that he had not even touched the ball and he had two strikes on him already, all he could think about was hitting a home run. Change your attitude. Secondly, stop listening to failure messages. We've heard them all our lives. You probably heard them when you were a kid. I heard them when I was a kid. And for a long time, they spoke to me. I listened to them. And sometimes I still listen to them. But I'm doing much better now than I used to. Stop listening to the failure messages. Psychologist Shad Helmstetter says, By the time a child is 18 years old, they have heard over 148,000 times, No, or you can't do that. When you hear no or you can't do that over 148,000 times, you start to believe it. Not only that, you begin to say the same thing to yourself. Change those failure messages. Stop listening to those failure messages and change your own negative self-talk into positive self-talk. And it will change the way you deal with failure. It will help you to utilize the power of positive failure. And then my third suggestion, every time you fail, ask yourself this question. What can I learn from this? Remember, failure is the opportunity to begin again more intelligently. If every time you fail, you ask yourself the question, what can I learn from this? And you may even want to sit down and write it down. What have I learned from this experience? And then you get up and you go for it again. Why? Because failure is a positive thing if we learn from it. And if you learn from that, you continue to grow, you continue to develop, and you become better equipped to take on that same challenge the next time around because you are smarter and ready to take it on. Failure is an event. It is not a person. Understand that. You may have failed. You may have failed many times, like I have failed many times. That does not make you a failure. It's just an event. It's just something that happened. And if you change your attitude, you stop listening to failure messages, and you ask, what can I learn from this? Then it does not have to stop you. A matter of fact, it can be the very thing that catapults you to the next level. Make that decision. Make that decision to utilize the power of positive failure. Because if you make the decision, you will ignite your fire and you can live with enthusiasm. Here we go.